Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the requirements for getting a marriage license in Pierce County? To obtain a marriage license in Pierce County, Washington, you need to follow several steps and meet specific requirements. First, you must be at least 18 years old and provide a government-issued photo ID. This can be a driver's license, passport, or any other valid government ID. You can apply for the marriage license either in person or by mail. For an in-person application, complete the online application and submit it without printing it out. If you don't have a computer, you can use the computers available at the office or call for assistance at 798-7435. If you prefer to apply by mail, complete the online application, print it out, and sign it in front of a notary public. Both parties must sign the application in the presence of a notary public. The application must be accompanied by a fee of $72, which can be paid by check or money order if applying by mail. For in-person applications, you can pay the fee directly at the office. Once you have submitted your application and paid the fee, there is a three-day waiting period before you can get married. This waiting period starts after you have purchased the license, and the license is valid for 60 days from the date of issuance. For the application process, it is recommended to schedule an appointment, as walk-in customers are served on a limited basis. The office is open from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Monday through Friday. After receiving your marriage license, you can get married. Ensure that your original marriage certificate is signed by your witnesses, efficient, and yourselves. You must return the signed marriage certificate to the Pierce County Auditor's Office either by mail or in person. Certified copies of your marriage license can be purchased for $3 each, which you may need for changing your name with Social Security, applying for military benefits, or updating your driver's license. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.